looking at the Swindon Speedway. As you can see, most of the pits has gone. Well, the pits has gone. The sun's just going down. The pits is nearly gone. Well, the pits has gone. Swindon. All the houses around there, look. All the bits are going around that bit. Going up and down. Pretty picturesque, isn't it, with the sun going down there over the back of the pits? The pits is gone. As you can see, the houses pretty much up against the fence over there. And as I walk around here, The old back straight. <laughs> Some memories in here. Even I used to work in the uh, hot dog and uh, trade stand thing at the back of here with my, my old nan, bless her. I used to stand here and watch. You can see that the mate is loading up on the truck. Taking all the rubble away from the pits by the looks of it. And as you can see, I'm just going to take you down here. So you can see all the, I'm presuming this is all the stadium build in the pits. Cars out there. <laughs> Probably get thrown out in a minute, but I thought I might as well try while I can. So apparently the stadium parts is it or something? A quick look. Better idea. We go all. We go all in. If we're gonna do it, let's do it properly. Everyone remembers these. Manky toilets on the back straight. <laughs> God knows if they're still. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Woo! Lovely. <laughs> now that is a memory. Right. What I'm going to do is nip out of here and go and uh, check out all the so say stand parts of it so i'll just take you one more time before i go around there and you can hear me on a deep breath <laughs> so there look now the sun's gone you can see there pits is all gone maybe it's just getting loaded up right there you go that's all that's going on at the moment. There's all the pits is down, all this back wall's down, look. There's the old supporters hut from years ago. Houses are right up to the back of there, look. So all this wall's now gone, where the car park is at the back. Right, here we go. Right. We're on the move. The hare is on the run. <laughs> right, I'm going to get you guys a good look at the rest of that. So my car's parked up. 
it is going back and forth. But to get a better view of all that stuff, lock the car up. Let's take you on a... We'll have a little jog. <sighs> I like it already. The hair is running. There we go. Uh, next to the A4019. Four one nine. Right. So, is this part of the new stands? Sit, Mr. Spender. <laughs> Sorry for the over breathing, but just giving you a little tour public path there's no means why I can't be up here not too sure about the stadium but too late for that's done here we go we'll get a good view in a second truck there let's go in there's the one that's coming out of the pits and he's getting rid of crap out of the pits so as you can see there's all the pits all the car park shall I say was the car park See the stadium there. Oh. So is this part of all the new grandstand? There's the guy tipping out all the crap from the pits. And as you can see, probably still see from here. I'll zoom in. See the digger at the back of the pits so is this part of all the new stand no idea so is this part of all the new stand to go in there for the new stadium no idea but the roofing on it looks like it is So, I've seen a few snippets on Facebook and social media here and there, so I thought I'd come and do a live video and show you the full works. So I thought, if I'm going to do it, I'll come and do it full Monty. So I'll just get back up on this uh, fence again. Oh, there we go. So that's everything as it is at the moment. 22nd of November. 2021 also there's a lovely there look the sun going down over the back of the abbey also big shout out to my brother Jamie Ashby it's his uh, 41st birthday today see me going back round look the trucks going back round through the old well the, late, the last pits they used it's gonna go around the back and join that digger driver. This uh, took all the pits down, so there's no pits there at all now. Nothing's happened to the main stand yet, look. So apparently all this should be all the new stadium stuff in the back of the uh, public car park here. And they're getting rid of all the stuff that's from the pits there, look. So I uh, hope that keeps you all up to date as it stands now. I'll, I'll pop up again before Christmas and see how they're getting on. So that's 
live for you guys today. Yes, I know, way too many hours. As you can see, the uh, that's the old, um, that's the Motorola there. Let's see the big thing over there that was uh, part of one of the James Bond movies that Pierce Brosnan was in. That's there, and then you've got the Robins just over the back of this tree here. You've got the Robins Farm pub, restaurant pub. And as you can see, all the houses are there. And uh, you can already see there, look, there's the back of the old back straight. The houses are literally right up to the back of there, look. Right up to the, pretty much they were literally touching the, the back of the, the pits anyway, as you can see. But the houses are pretty much surrounding, look. The whole thing, so. There we go. Get back down. So yeah. So hopefully this is all part of the stadium build in the car park. It's going to uh, see all through there. Look. I think it was was it Newport? Someone said all this was being kept. For, for quite a while, apparently. So, as you can see, a better view here, look. There's the pits, look. There's no more. Literally, the pit gate, there. Just a digger, filling up the remainder of the bits left of it. And that house, look, is literally where the pits was. So I did hear, whether that's true or not, I think the pits, the new pits, if this is all going ahead, are supposed to be like sort of down this end where all this uh, stuff is. So we shall see. So yeah, there we go. Good shout out there too. Safe ride Swansea MX. Hopefully these boys get back going again as well, Mr. Ron Walters. Trying to get their track sorted out in Wales. It's nice and fresh out here. You can see that. Steve can out the old breathing there. So yeah, look. It's a flipping caravans. <laughs> So, got excited then for the new podium. <laughs> Woo. I've just seen my Lady Lou's popped on. She's already piping up saying, um, thought you were at Tesco's. <laughs> well, I've done that, babe. I thought, do you know what? Because I saw a couple of snippets. Uh, Alex Chad messaged me saying, look, the pits is now gone. He saw a little quick picture, but it was very blurred. I thought, oh, I'm not having this. Blurred pictures, people not sure what's going on. So I just thought I'd go up here quickly before the sun goes down, which literally has. Just. I thought, get it, get it live. Get, get it all covered. So I ran inside the stadium. Probably shouldn't have shut off, but... You can see. I think they'll pretty much be finishing up in a minute, the boys that are working here. There you go, look. There's the iconic entrance gate that's been here, what, since 1949 when it opened. Look, there's the old Greyhound on the top of that gate there, look. Hi Colin, how's it going? I see Colin Richardson's just come on. Um, it's supposed to be the um, same uh, same site, Colin. But I think it's more like moving like the pits is at that end, but then now the pits will be down that end. Woo! 
but the pits will be down in that end now, so. There's the guy taking all the crap from the pits. <laughs> Sorry, I'll turn that off. So yeah, so apparently I think the pits, if this is all going how we hope it is, then the pits are gonna be uh, down this end. We're obviously the pits at the back of that part at the moment. That's obviously all gone now. So I heard when I saw something before about it, that the new pits was gonna be this end of the stadium. So we will see. Woo. But we've had a good run around there. I went up, if you've only just come on, I went up there, up in between, I went through this fence here. And I went up there, look where the old supporters hut is. Buried there, look, by all the, let's have a look, let's just take it steaming up here. There, look, the old little supporters hut in the back there. I went up there, I walked up through there. So if any of you guys have just come onto this live late, I'll share it on some of the Swindon Speedway stuff. But I walked up through there, up through the stadium, and I had a good look around and uh, showed you all the pits and everything that's disappeared and all this back wall up. Let's just move forward here. So this was the other car park. That was obviously the, the other side of the car park where all these uh, parts of the stand, new stand I presume it is. And there was the other car park we used. Look, they've uh, stripped all that out. All that wall's now gone, look, that was on the back straight behind the the old toilets there, look, at the back of there, in the, in the training school for the motorcycle place. So yeah. Yeah, apparently so, Colin. The old uh, main grandstand should be getting demolished, and I presume, obviously, this one on the back straight is pretty much uh, scrap anyway. So that'll be all coming down, and then I presume all that new stadium that parts are out there are going to be the new grandstand, I'm presuming. So fingers crossed. But as we know, Swindon have already pulled out of the uh, 2022 season, so. You're already looking a year away already, so they've got, I presume they've got a year to do it. I'm not sure what's happening with the um, Greyhound side of things. I'm not sure if they can if they can do that or what, or I'm not sure what's going on with that. So, work continuing. He's going to pick up another load look from the pits. Can't be any more live in, in the direct than that can we so anyone that's just coming on to this live now i'm just about to leave so i've just popped up here before the sun literally has gone down behind the back of the stadium that you'll see at the start of this video hi james how's it going but i literally just i've ran between this fence thing here to the back of the back straight stadium i ran up there doing the finger thing that it's zooming in on i went up between the old supporters hut there you can see us all covered in that I went up there and I've done a live video of all the stadium and how it is at the moment. All the pits is all gone, which is at the back of there. This is the bit that was behind the back of the stadium that everyone was parking in as well. Look, that's all gone now. And I've, uh, I went and walked all the way along along this public path all the way up there and I've given you a bird's eye view of all the stadium stuff. So, hi Max, this is uh, Swindon Speedway, mate, Abbey Stadium in Blunsdon just come up and done a live because I've seen a, a few snippets of what's going on at the stadium about the new stadium build and I've seen a few little uh, pictures that are not the best so I thought I'd come up here and go full Monty and get a live video going and show everyone exactly where it's at and uh, hopefully that covers it for everyone now I'll pop up again before Christmas and check it out for everyone do another live video and then I'll share it all in the groups to do a Swindon Speedway etc <laughs> Piss off, Max. Oxford boy, any. Although I will be coming up to the Oxford. Oxford Speedway, I don't know if you know anything about that, Max, but Oxford Speedway's been gone for, I don't know how long now. <laughs> 10 years? Maybe more than 10 years, and Oxford Speedway's coming back for next season. They've cleared all the stadium out, they've got the track back on together. And uh, Mr. Scotty Nichols. Multiple British Speedway champion has just been confirmed as the new Oxford Cheaters captain. So I did actually message Scott. And he replied and said he was buzzing about it. So uh, 
So yeah, so I'm definitely going to pop down to Oxford Speedway for the new season from next year. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we'll have to meet out there one evening, 100% Max, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I remember the days of going down there and seeing the main Dane, Hans Nielsen, in the 80s and 90s. Cannot believe I got to do a three hour interview of Hans and Nielsen, it was off the head. I think he's got something like 22 World Championships to his name, Max, with like uh, individual ones, uh, World Team Cup with Denmark and World Pairs Championships and stuff like that, and he was the number one down at Oxford in the 80s and 90s winning the leagues and all that. So it'd be cool uh, that that's going to be running again from next year. I think they're going in the Championship League, which is the one below the main league. So uh, definitely be going to check that out. Used to like going down to Oxford on a bank holiday weekend. They used to do a good Friday uh, morning and afternoon and stuff like that, meeting, and then the return back here and, and so forth. But yeah, hopefully that uh, lets you all catch up with a bit. Letting the beard grow wild, let us all get up the side. <laughs> I'll just be like that soon, just like, like I've got shades on. Letting it go. So I'll catch up with you all soon. I'll let you know what's going on with the uh, Speedway and motocross interviews, any that i got coming up. And I'll obviously uh, give you all news as soon as I can on my uh, me and Kev's uh, next uh, motocross meeting. Hopefully get some more Speedway legends there and motocross legends. And um, yeah, hopefully by the end of this month we might have a date and a track so we can uh, get all that going as well. I know where all the good kebab vans are too. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's quite a nice little stadium at Oxford as well, so I expect they've got all the mod cons there and all that. So, uh, yeah, so anyone that's just coming on, I've been at the Swindon Speedway, the Abbey Stadium at Blunsdon, Swindon Robin Speedway Stadium. I've come up here and I've ran out to the back of the uh, stadium at the start of the video, filmed it all. You can see all the pits is all gone. And then I've gone and walked all the way up the public footpath and uh, to go and check out all these parts in the new stadium we're hoping that is. So uh, you can all catch up with it soon. I'll share it everywhere. Hope that helps a lot of you that have been seeing a few sort of photos from a long way away. So uh, the camera's pretty good on these new iPhones, which I only got in uh, September. So hopefully that gives you a, a, a good view of it all and uh, keeps you up to date with what's going on. And I'll pop up here before Christmas and uh, check out again. So hope you're all happy with that. Uh, <laughs> Jogged up there very slowly, Baz. <laughs> oh, sorry, as Malt says, Big Baz. You're the ice hockey crew now, aren't you? Just remember who uh, tipped you off about the ice hockey. <laughs> Jamie and Baz have never stopped going since I got them into that as well. Got so many people into the ice hockey. So, yeah, so anyone that's just coming on, I thought I'd see another legend just come on, Jeff Bouchard. Hi, Jeff. How's it going? Race with my dad, David Ashby, and my uncle Martin Ashby. Good days. Actually bumped into Jeff, Jeff as well at the Leicester Speedway, luckily enough, a couple of years back when it was the first Elite League meeting of the season, I think it was. So that was cool. The only time I've ever been to Leicester Speedway. Well, bar than when I was a baby. So, yeah. So you... Uh, you can watch this video back anyway, it'll save and I'll uh, share it in the Swindon Speedway groups and everything. You can see exactly what the stadium's going on, so if you just come on, Jeff. I went and uh, filmed all the stadium and part of the grandstands and all that sort of stuff, so you can see what's going on. So I'll catch you all soon. Gonna go and get my Laney Lou surprise now that she doesn't know is coming. <laughs> we'll go into that. But see you all soon. Ciao.